Hey, now thanks for joining to check out the video. This is going to cover the R35 coil brackets that are offered from my company, Autosports Engineering. Now, this is one of the three brackets that are included with the kit. These will work on any of the 2J base family of cylinder heads that originally ran coils down here. So if you have a distributor base engine of a 2J, it will not work. We have a different version of the bracket that will fit the GE distributor style heads for the original non-turbo guys, but these are gonna definitely fit the 2J non-VVTi and VVTi, as well as the GE non-turbo VVTi heads. Basically, the heads that did not come with a distributor from the 2J family. Uh, these are also going to lock in on the 1J cylinder head, non-VVTi, and we have a different bracket, same application of coils, the R35 family Hitachi coils that are obviously most of you guys know are from the R35 generation of Nissans from 2008 and up. Um, now you're gonna get three of these brackets and we're gonna go over to install in a little bit, but you get three of these brackets in the kit, all of the hardware, as well as a shorter set of stalks for the coils to shorten them. Now, in the rest of the install, I'm actually gonna show you how to assemble these on there. Now, the stalks, how you're gonna get them, are already going to actually come pre-set up in this style configuration. So what this is, it's a Delrin acetal style plastic polymer stock with an OEM blue 2J boot. And you say, well, why use OEM piece? When you're using OEM pieces, it's always easy to source a replacement. I like to use parts that even if you don't get them from me, you can get from a local parts store. I tend not to do a lot of proprietary style designs because you never know what's gonna happen as far as what's gonna be available. Another company, not myself, might discontinue a product or revise it to a point where it's not usable. But when you're using a tried and true piece like this, integrated into the design, it's like, hey man, if you rip a boot or whatever, you need to replace the boots that are older, degraded, guess what? You can call the dealership up, go pick up a set, go to the local parts store, go online, order a set, and you can either have them the same day, next day, or a couple days later, and you don't have to call me to get a replacement. That's a primary point of how I design a lot of my products or to use easily replaceable products that you can get locally or very quickly, whether or not you're getting them from me or not. Now, this configuration, it's already set up. I pushed these in already for you, so there's no confusion on how it goes. A lot of other guys, when these were separate, I was always answering questions on which side goes into the boot, even though if you pull the factory boot apart, you'll notice that the design matched the factory boot. So we went ahead and, well, I should say not we, I, since I'm still here alone, went ahead and started putting these together for you. So it's another time suck as far as <laughs> getting a product out the door when you're working alone. But at the end of the day, these coils are highly powerful, highly reliable. And if you look at the R35 platform and what these guys are out there doing as far as power and sustainability, man, these coils pack a severely high punch. Now you might say, well, how do these config or compare to the larger IGN style smart coils that are available from Mega Squirt, AEM, Haltech? Well, the main thing is a lot of guys want a cleaner engine bay. These, as well as the one NZ that we offer, are going to fit under your factory style coil cover. Whereas the IGNs, unless you want the coil sitting up there to go to the show and let everybody know you're a big dog in the power category. I mean, this is, makes for a cleaner install and these things are gonna throw out a significantly high amount of spark energy. It's definitely gonna be higher than what the guys with the one NZs are looking for and it still will give you a really clean install in your engine bay, which that's the advantage over the IGN style larger smart coils. Now, other than that, I mean, the price on these have come down over the last couple of years. So the popularity on them has gone up, which is part of the reason you're, try you're starting to see more of them uh, be favored as far as a choice, because in all honesty, until recently, you could have bought a set of IGNs for less than you could have bought these that's no longer the case, which is part of the reason we've actually expanded the application list for the R35 style coils. Now, let's jump over to the quick install and show you guys how we get all of this stuff on your cylinder head. 
So let's go ahead and get started with the install on the R35 ignition coil bracket. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna notice is that this particular coil kit, all three brackets are identical. I'm gonna use one for reference now, so you can see it. Now, all three of these will be identical. The one notation, you're gonna look towards this end that has a slight angle, not the one with the cutout. And like I said, this end that has the angle, not the end with the more of like a 90 degree cut, cut out. Now, the reason for this, this one points forward and you can also use the orientation of the logo because obviously the logo should be read properly from the front of the car. Now, the reason for this unique orientation is that one, on the VVTi only front mount posts, you will have to notch a little bit of the lower corner because the VVTi cover protrudes. As you can see, this is so close to the edge. As far as machining, that's not something I wanted to chance or modify the design. It would have made the fixture in a little bit more difficult. So for the VVTi guys, you will require that slight mod. Otherwise, the cover will basically rest on it. Um, the non-VVTi guys, you do not have to touch that at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our regular countersinks, we're gonna drop those down. That's gonna be tightened down with a four millimeter hex wrench. Doesn't have to be super tight. Remember, it's not holding your car together, you know, less than a quarter of a turn and that's it, you're locked in. Now, what you're gonna notice is that the kit, as mentioned before, includes a set of shorter stocks. Uh, we went over the, be the benefits and the design of the st stocks beyond just its physical requirement for the new height. So we're going to go ahead and take the factory coil and you're just going to twist and you'll be able to remove the plastic boot. Make sure you keep the fusible link. If it drops, find it. Be careful, be prepared that there is one in there so that when you're taking the factory coil apart, that it doesn't fall down. Don't do this over the head, do it somewhere on the bench where it's easy to locate if it does fall out. Take the spring. What I like to do is you drop the spring down in here and you'll notice the spring will protrude all the way through when you look. So then we're gonna take this assembly, the barbed end, and just pop it right back into place and just twist with some force and you'll get it to come back together. And that's pretty much about it. That's your install height now on this thing, simple. Now we're gonna take the first one and it'll pop through and sit right on your spark plugs, twist it down a little bit. And we're gonna pretty much rinse and repeat for the other coil. Now this is gonna be the exact same process for all six coils but I'm only going to show you on two. And we're going to go ahead, drop the hex flange head bolts. We're going to go ahead and snug those up. And that's it. Your install's complete. And now you're just going to repeat for the other uh, two sets. And if you purchase the harness along with the kit, everything is direct plug and play. You would continue to plug them in. You were already given the maiden end of the connector for whichever connector, whether it be a DT or a DTM that was included with your kit and you're gonna use that to integrate. Now, some guys say, well, how come this isn't labeled? How come that isn't labeled? Let's be realistic. The coil has three wires. Uh, we try to color code it so you have power is red, ground is black, and the individual wire color for the remaining one is going to match up to the individual wire colors going in here, which are the triggers to the ECU. So honestly, I don't think that requires a diagram. If you're, if you don't understand basic wiring schematics such as that, do not wire this yourself. Take it to somebody that knows what they're doing because it doesn't get any easier than that as far as simplicity. Now, whatever your requirements for your standalone or ECU, you can grab the diagram from that. If you have a standalone, it came with uh, 
a wiring schematic as far as how to wire external coils or igniters. So follow up with that and that's it. It's pretty straightforward, nothing else beyond that. That's part of the reason we don't do uh, uh, installation of harnesses in our guides because there's a variety of configurations that are out there and you should defer to whatever computer you're using. They will tell you where to make connections, what to run for relays, etc. This is a universal configuration. That's not a requirement that I'm going to provide. So other than that, the install video is pretty much complete. It's as straightforward as possible. We have plenty of these in stock, plenty available. Uh, we try to stock coils as well to make sure that we can get quicker turnaround on the packages. Uh, and once again, this is the Autosports Engineering R35 JZ coil kit. This will work on all of the cylinder heads that are listed in the items description. If it's not in the description on the site, do not purchase it. You'll be wasting your time, my time. That's it. If it's in the description, it'll fit. If you follow the guide with the references, you should have no problems from beginning to end on your installation. So thanks for watching this video. I got more coming. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Any subscribers that place follow-up orders, you're entitled to a free gift as long as you put a note in the order and we can go ahead and verify your status. Uh, follow our social media pages. Thanks again. Thanks for joining and watching this video.